I wanted a chance to, can everybody hear me okay? I wanted a chance to speak today in order to express my gratitude and also to add to the um, people's descriptions of Lynn's great breadth of interest and also breadth of generosity. Um, even though my research subject is Homo sapiens, I received the same marked up manuscript copies <laughs> um, and ideas and um, force of nature, as James Shapiro was, was saying, just being around Lynn was a great inspiration to me. Um, if there's any chalk, I wanted to, it was um, my first mentor was Murray Bowen, a psychiatrist who was at first working with Carl Menninger to bring Freud to the United States and he realized that Freudian theory was not scientific, so he set about at first to try to move Freudian theory towards science, but then came up with his own theory which is called Bowen theory or Bowen family systems theory. But what I thought might interest you um, is that the major speakers at the Bowen Center for the Study of the Family have included scientists like James Shapiro, who's been a, one of the major speakers there, in an effort to move the study of Homo sapiens toward um, the, the understanding of Homo sapiens as part of the life sciences. So, Murray Bowen oriented me toward the idea that the difficulties that the human experiences in our own families and social groups had something to do with what went on in other forms of life. And that these automatic emotional instinctive processes that occur in the family and human social groups were so basic, these, these, um, these patterns that he observed, that he believed that perhaps they could be found in other life forms. So he oriented me in that direction, and I came up with the question of how far could you take this? And I ended up in Lynn's um, environmental evolution course for the first time, the one that I paid for. <laughs> sitting around in the, in the table of introducing ourselves and of course right away she interrupted me and said we do not talk about human beings in this course. <laughs> um, over 15 years later <laughs> I'm here to tell you um, how much uh, I learned from her and I was able to take what I learned from Bowen theory plus what I learned from Lynn Margulis and really extend the theory. And I just want to tell you very briefly where I'm going with it, which is that uh, what Bowen, Bowen discovered that the family functions as a unit. I know that seems obvious, but there's more to it. But what I what I was able to learn by studying life at these very basic levels, um, especially bacteria, is that the social group functions as a unit toward survival and reproductive success. And it is the social group in, the, in Homo sapiens that is going to survive and, and successfully reproduce, not all of the individuals. Since Lynn died, 
I've been very depressed, for me, very depressed. And I'm just so grateful to be here and have been, one thing I realized hearing everybody's stories, I am one of many. <laughs> And that is a great joy in that. And um, I leave here today, when I leave, I'm not leaving yet, very inspired. And thank you. Well, you might wonder how a cultural human geographer got to know and work with Lynn. Um, I've taught courses on the importance of place in people's lives, uh, even a seminar called Spirit of Place, that Lynn was always intrigued with that idea. And we got to know each other over the years. Um, more in more recent years, um, as geography graduate program director, I helped bring in a number of her students into, into geography, which was a more, is, a, is a holistic discipline. Clearly geosciences covers all of the of the earth systems as well. And um, and so we discovered we were both born in 1938, a month apart. I was born in Idaho. Her mother was born in Montana, so she had that connection. Um, I've always been very interested in, I'm a photographer and I've done a lot with uh, the importance of light and uh, light as it affects um, how we see the world. And of course, Lynn. <laughs> if anyone enjoyed and appreciated seeing the world, it was Lynn. I'm going to show a series of, of images of light, different kinds of light in the world from pictures I've taken. But I just want to say that I truly miss Lynn.
Thank you.